My friend recently got a super subwoofer. You can go really low, maybe below 20 hertz, and you can feel it shake your liver. So it's very powerful. And it's fun for movies, especially when there's explosions. But is it useful for music, like, for instance, real instruments, the piano, guitar, trombone, something like that? And I think no. And it has to do with how the brain perceives sound and how these instruments produce sound. So every, almost every instrument, it's not a it's not a pure sine wave. So let's just pull up a pure sine wave. Now that's a uh, C, and if you go an octave up, it's another C. That's another natural harmonic. These are all harmonics of strings, instruments, vocals, whatever. Now this sounds like a chord to us. And in an actual piano, all those overtones are present, but the brain puts them together and gives us a single note. So let's go over to the piano here. And play middle C. Uh, hold on. Let me uh, turn off that one and turn this one. Off. Now you can see this first peak here is what 261, whatever the middle C is. And if you go an octave below, the fundamental is down here at uh, whatever half that is. And if you keep going down, something this fundamental keeps dropping off we saw the sine wave there was just one harmonic here you have the octave harmonic the third harmonic and I guess it's the fifth all these harmonics but listen to that that doesn't sound like a chord that sounds like one note why our brain is combining all these frequencies but here's something weird let me go all the way down to the bottom this note is somewhere around 30 hertz. The fundamental is almost vanished, but we hear it as an octave below this C. So C4, C3, C2, C1 completely roll off. Uh, this is emulated piano. Let me go ahead and just go here. This is, um, I have this actual specs on exactly how this was produced. This is a Steinway model B using a Newman KM84 and it should be a raw sound and let's just play it. And that bottom end is just rolled off but when we hear it with our brains it's a low note. You don't need these subsonic frequencies, super subwoofer. We hear this low note. You won't feel it rumbling. If the fundamental was actually present in this note, then we would feel it in the subwoofer. So something kind of odd about music is that the lower the note goes, less the fundamental appears but if you go c3 or, or c4 c5 c6 see that that's the fundamental the higher you go up c7 the higher you go up the more the note takes on mostly the fundamental the fundamental is really strong here and the first harmonic right here the octave the second harmonic or overtone whichever whatever number it's supposed to be is less. See them dropping off? But then if you go back to middle C, the fundamentals actually has less volume than the first overtone. And as you go down, it almost disappears. It rolls off. There's no need for a subwoofer, but it's different with synthetic music. So for instance, let's go back to uh, the synth here. And uh, play a note. That's, um, I believe that's C2. Now, look at this. 
this will rumble your stereo system. It's a synthetic note, that's why. It's a pure note. And these notes are all present. <laughs> But they're mixed in such a way that when our brain hears them, we say, that's one note. But in the sine wave doesn't. So everything, everything about a sine wave that you produce synthetically is different than a real note. There's no drop off. It's all fundamental. And then they will add overtones if they want. But there's a really strong fundamental in artificially produced notes. But with an actual piano, Here it's a note, and it sounds wonderful. And so here's a chord, three notes. We well, here's three chords. That's a single note, but see the waveforms are very similar. How does our brain do that? It's a mystery. So there you go. If it's a real instrument, unless it's a church organ, I don't think a super subwoofer does anything. So my opinion, it's only for synthetic music, uh, synthes, synths, and explosions in movies. But if you just listen to actual music played on actual instruments like the piano or guitar or flute or anything, the subwoofer does nothing.